This is how you deploy your Angular project onto IaaS. Step number one, go to your workspace and just run this command. ng build prod. Here you can also use dev, but then your build will be bigger, more bulky, and that is why I would recommend that you create a production build. So ng build prod, and then base ref, base ref should be set to uh, the name of your application. So this name should match with the name of the application that you are going to create in IIS. Now to do that, just open IIS, create a website. Inside that website, create an application. The name of the application should be exactly this, hello world. Then and only then, this thing will work. Besides, uh, the website should have the physical path of dist folder and the application should have the physical path of dist slash hello world folder. I have mentioned all these steps in the video description. This is Amit and welcome to Chris Tutorials where we keep it short, simple and to the point. So let us see step by step how to deploy our Angular application onto IIS. So as you know, this is my Angular application, Hello World application, which I've just created using Angular CLI. This is just out of the box. I didn't change anything. So as you can see in the Angular.json under my particular project, uh, I see an output path of dist Hello World. But this folder dist does not exist in my workspace till now. The reason is I have not run the command like ng build. This command is required to build your application and create the build. Okay, and then that build will be deployed onto the IIS. So either you can give the command ng build or you can give a command ng build dash dash prod. Both these commands will create the dist folder. But in case of ng build, it will be a dev build and in case of ng build prod, it will be a production build. Dev build is always more bulky as compared to the production build. Dev build is good for debugging purposes, but prod build is good for deployment. So since we have to deploy it onto IIS, I will use a prod build. But I cannot use it directly because Basically, this is just an application like this. See, this is just a project and we need, uh, we need the base HRF to be set to this particular, uh, project. So I'll explain you in a bit what it is. If you go to source and your index.html, here you will see that the base HRF is dash. So if I just create a build, uh, like this, then it will only uh, keep the base href as dash. But we want the base href to be uh, dash hello world dash. Okay. And so I'm going to give a command like ng build prod, then base href. And here I will just give hello world. Okay. But remember to give it in between uh, two forward slashes. Okay. And then you just enter. So now this will take a while. Uh, it almost takes one or two minutes to uh, produce a build. As soon as this build will get uh, produced, you will see a dist folder appearing over here. and the build got generated. So as you can see, uh, it has generated a lot of files and the sizes of these files are very minimal. Uh, if you would have created a dev build, then these sizes would have been huge. Like instead of 56, here it would be like something 250 KBs. Uh, here instead of zero bytes, it would be some bytes. Okay. So, you know, this is the reason why we did the production build. Now that we have 
our deployment folder let us go to it and let me just copy this path okay now we will go to IIS here I have already removed all the application pools and I have already removed all the sites okay the default site is here so I removed that also let us keep it clean here I will just create a website first and I'll call it something like angular and the physical path is the path till the dist folder I'll just say okay yeah now inside this angular uh, website I will create an application and here I will give the name hello world the same name which we used in this particular command the same name that we used in between two forward slashes the base href that we have and the physical path this time will be beyond dist till hello world folder okay and I'll just say okay and I'll browse it and as you can see uh, the application appears here so your deployment is complete now let me also emphasize why we did slash hello world slash as you can see in our index.html file base href is still dash so while creating the build I don't want to change uh, this base uh, this index.html file because this is my code this is my source code right so but while creating the build uh, I can give some proper name so that this will become the application name within my website okay and uh, if you see the dist folder then hello world here if you see the index.html here you will see that base href is hello world and just to make this base href as hello world I have to give this command dash dash base href uh, as hello world so that when you create this build in the index file of that build give the base href as hello world and then and only then this works because hello world is going to be my uh, application name so this name should match exactly with your application name and then and only then your deployment will be successful